It won't be long before high school athletes are back on the baseball and softball fields. Channel 11's Jillian Hartman found out they may not be required to wear face masks. Well, I think we can all picture what a baseball field looks like with a team spread out. Great for social distancing, but many tell me there are challenges like at first base and home plate. Home plate, you've got a catcher, an umpire, and a batter all within six feet of each other. First base, you have just the first baseman until there's a runner on. That could be the one hang up to keeping student athletes safe in outdoor sports this spring. Don Hall is the athletic director for Gateway School District. He believes one solution is players wearing gator masks to pull up and down. As for umpires, they're required to wear a face covering under the COVID-19 guidelines the PIAA just released for spring sports. But others are looking at another takeaway from those guidelines. Athletes and coaches don't need to wear masks when outside and six feet apart. Right now, I think everybody is in a place where we're confident after two sports seasons that we can safely manage these things and, and we're able to play. Even with the PIAA guidelines, it's still up to each school district to decide if it wants masks, which could cause another mask dilemma like we just saw in basketball. I think there always is a chance because there are going to be many different school boards and school district administrations who and solicitors who have to consider the issue for their own district. One sport could be an exception to all of this. Lacrosse, the PIAA said with helmets and mouth guards, it may be unsafe for lacrosse players to also wear masks. Now here's a list of all the high school spring sports. I did ask Hall if track and field will be difficult to manage. It can be a little bit of a crowd depending on the size of the roster, but obviously we're asking them to wear their masks all the time except when they're competing and to stay physically distant whenever they can. Now, as for parents, the PIAA is allowing some fans at spring sporting events. The season will start officially on Monday, March 8th. Reporting in Cranberry Township, I'm Jillian Hartman, Channel 11.